Aloha, I'm Senator Jay Kalani English, representing the 7th District, Hana, Eastern Upcountry Maui, Molokai, Lanai, and Kaho'olawe. I'm running for my fifth term in the State Senate. I'm originally from Hana, and I live there today, and I've had, uh, since 2000, I've been in the Hawaii State Senate uh, representing this wonderful district. So I'm looking forward to the fifth term in, this, uh, in the Hawaii State Senate and looking forward to representing you in the legislature. This federal project on top of Haleakala is really meant to look at the deep space and to look at the sun uh, and its effect on the planet. So there were 16 places on the planet on the earth that they looked at and Maui Haleakala was the place that they chose because of the clarity of our skies, the stability of our atmosphere, and the clarity uh, of the ability to look into deep space. So this project has been going since uh, mid-2000s until the present. And one of the big issues around it, of course, has been the cultural sensitivity and the uh, Hawaiian issues uh, and the sites close to this particular area. This is a partnership of 22 institutions uh, around the world, uh, working with the University of Hawaii and our, our Astronomy Institute. Um, so there's many good things about it and there's some downsides about it. I think that w when we look at it, we have to first be very sensitive to the cultural and social environment that this telescope is coming into. Um, Haleakala is getting filled, uh, we're getting a little bit crowded up there, and I think we have to look at the master plan for the whole area and know when to say this is the last one or no more, and uh, when to say that we've built to our capacity on the mountain. So, you know, from a scientific standpoint, I think we have to support this project because we need this information for really it's for our satellite communications and looking at uh, how the sun affects the satellites and the communications that we all depend on cell phones TV etc but we must always have to watch and ensure that the cultural part is taken care of that the Hawaiian aspect is uh, honored and that our people are honored and the access to the, the sites are maintained so yes support it but make sure that we maintain the cultural aspects. We have always supported the construction of a prison in Pu'unene on Maui. The Senate team from Maui County, myself, Senator Baker, Senator Sutsui, has through two different administrations continually supported the building of a prison in Pu'unene. The current prison is in very, very bad condition, it's overcrowded, and we really need to create a new facility. With that said, uh, I have opposed the idea of spending about $225 million to build this facility. Yes, we need the facility, but if we're going to spend that kind of money, we really should put it towards a world-class university here on Maui, improve uh, University of Hawaii Maui campus, make it into a full college, a full university with that kind of money. So yes, we, we, we really support building the prison. We want to bring our, our prisoners home from Maui. Uh, we want to have humane, uh, humane facilities for them. However, the cost is just too great at this time. So in the end, we're going to support the prisons, but we're going to try to find a way to bring down this huge cost to make it both affordable and functional for our society. You know, I've been involved in clean energy and, and, and renewable energy in Hawaii for my entire political career, over 16 years. Um, <clears throat> I was chair of the Energy and Environment Committee in the Senate when we passed the energy reform bills, uh, the solar tax credit, which was my bill, and um, a number of other bills that created the current infrastructure and the current regime that we have dealing with renewable energy in Hawaii. So for clean energy for Maui County, I'm really hoping that we can look at a couple of things that are sort of outside of the box. The first is developing our indigenous energy on each island to first supply the needs of each island. Uh, looking at the, the different way of how the grids are supplied and looking at a different way of calculating just what is firm power and what is renewable. Because the problem that I see today is that we are tied to a very old way of calculating energy 
and we have a lot of new technologies that once they come into play will give us the ability to harness more of our indigenous energy on each island. So I think Maui County, all three of our inhabited islands and Kaho'olawe have a chance of producing the power that they need to consume first and then we can look at how we can uh, how we can bring in the newer technologies such as wave energy and um, uh, algae uh, energy etc so that we can build on what we have. So I think that we have a very very strong future in uh, indigenous energy in each island and I also think that in Hawaii especially in Maui, Maui County, we have uh, the means and the political will to make it all happen. Mahalo, I'm Senator Jay Kalani English, running for the 7th Senatorial District, Hana, East and Upcountry Maui, Molokai, Lanai, and Kaho'olawe. I ask for your continued support. I ask for your vote in the next election. You can find out more about me at www.kalanienglish.com or go to Facebook and go to my fan page, uh, Facebook slash Senator J.K. English or on Twitter at J. Kalani English.